Madeline Stowe is an American actress, star of the TV series Revenge, as well as the films Closed Country, We Were Soldiers, The Last of the Mohicans, Twelve Monkeys, and others. In 2012, according to the popular magazine People, the actress entered the top five most beautiful women in the world. Madeline Mora Stowe grew up in the Californian town of Eagle Rock, which is a suburb of Los Angeles. The actress's father, Robert Stowe, worked as a civil engineer, and her mother, Mireya Mora Stainworth, an immigrant from Costa Rica, raised the children. In addition to Madeline, the family also grew up with two younger daughters. Stowe grew up as a withdrawn child. The girl resorted to various tricks just to avoid the company of her peers. In the end, the girl found this way out. She announced that she wanted to become a pianist and sat at the instrument for eight to ten hours a day. Madeline's teacher was the famous Russian instrumentalist Sergei Tarnovsky, who taught the girl until his death at the age of 92. By that time, the future actress was already 18 years old. Then she felt that the time had come when she needed to stop closing herself off. The girl consciously chose a profession that required maximum communication skills, journalism, and went to study at the University of Southern California. However, quite quickly at the university she found a new creative hobby, a theater club. Soon Madeline was invited to the theater in Beverly Hills, and from there, thanks to an agent, she got into television and cinema. Movies Madeline Stowe began acting in films at the age of 20. Her first works were mainly on television, including the film Christmas, in which she played the role of the mother of Jesus Christ. Her career breakthrough came in 1987, when the detective comedy Stakeout with Madeline broke the year's box office record. Then Stowe starred with Kevin Costner in the thriller Revenge, and with Jack Nicholson in the crime film The Two Jakes. The next star film was released in 1991. It was the psychological drama Closet Country. Interestingly, the plot has only two characters, an investigator, played by Alan Rickman, and a children's writer who is a suspect. Madeline plays her. Also worth noting are the western The Last of the Mohicans and the thriller Unlawful Entry. By the way, the role of the brave aristocrat Cora Monroe from The Last of the Mohicans, according to critics, is iconic for the actress. After this film, Stowe began to be looked at as a truly gifted artist. Surprisingly, it was at that moment that Madeline decided to leave the cinema and devoted several years exclusively to her family. During this period, the actress's creative biography, although continuing to expand, was filled with episodic and cameo roles. In 1995, the actress received the leading female role in the science fiction dystopia Twelve Monkeys, directed by Terry Gilliam. Madeline Stowe's partners on the set were Bruce Willis and Brad Pitt. The plot of the film begins in the future, in the 30s of the 21st century, when humanity is on the brink of destruction due to a virus epidemic that has destroyed 5 billion people. The only hope for humanity is the discovery of time travel. The main character, the criminal Cole, is forced to go back in time to find the moment in time when the virus was released and prevent the tragedy. In 1996, Cole is mistaken for a madman and sent to a psychiatric hospital, where he meets his future assistant Catherine, played by Madeline Stowe. The film is distinguished by its original and distinctive concept of time travel. The time traveler simply disappears from someone else's timeline after a certain period of time, so the film does not have the classic plot for such a fantastic premise about finding a lost or stolen time machine. Upon her return to cinema, she had several good works. The thriller The General's Daughter with John Travolta, the war action film We Were Soldiers with Mel Gibson, the crime comedy Angel of Vengeance with Sylvester Stallone. Then followed a second, longer break in filming. Since 2003, the actress has appeared in films so sporadically that these films are often not even included in her filmography. A full-fledged return took place in 2011. Madeline Stowe agreed to play the role of Victoria Grayson in the mystical television series Revenge, which in Russian distribution was also called Revenge. This multi-part film was a great success and lasted for four years, and the level of Madeline's acting allowed her to be nominated for such prestigious awards as the Golden Globe and Emmy. Madeline Stowe played an ambiguous and largely negative character. She is a glamorous and powerful woman, the queen of the city of Hampton and the sole matriarch of the Grayson family, who has a dark past and numerous skeletons in the closet. In the past, years before the main plot line of the TV series unfolds, Victoria framed her friend, shifting responsibility for organizing a terrorist act that caused numerous deaths to an innocent person. The framed friend was killed in prison, 
But the conflict did not end there. The daughter of the innocently convicted man came to the city years later to find those responsible for the death of her father, Emily Van Camp. Despite the original plot and the actors' performances, which received high professional recognition, the ratings of the TV series began to steadily fall in the second season, and each episode began to receive critical reviews both about the new storylines and about the casting. Nevertheless, Revenge was renewed for a third, and then a fourth season. The trend of regular ratings decline continued, and after the fourth season, the series was officially closed. Personal Life Today, Madeline Stowe is not only a successful actress, but also a happy wife and mother. In 1982, Madeline Stowe starred in the action film Gangster Chronicles. On the set, the actress met actor Brian Benben, who builds his career mainly in television projects. The loving couple entered into an official marriage that same year, and since then, Stowe and Benben have lived happily together. The family had a daughter, May Theodora. Some sources claim that the actress also has a son, whom the parents are hiding, but no one can name him or give his date of birth, and Madeline herself denies such information. The family lives on their own ranch in Texas, near the town of Fredericksburg. They moved there in 2003, during the last break in Stowe's career. Madeline is very sensitive to the problems of people in need. For example, in 2010, after the cataclysms in Haiti, the actress went to this island and helped a lot of people left homeless. Madeline Stowe Now In 2016, the actress joined the crew of the popular post-apocalyptic series Twelve Monkeys, a modernized remake of the 1995 film of the same name. The actress played the secondary role of Lillian in the second season of the show. Fans of this film consider Madeline Stowe's cameo appearance to be a curtsy to the original film, since Madeline played the main female role in the full-length Twelve Monkeys. At the same time, Madeline Stowe's heroine is simply not present in the series. In 1995, the actress played the role of psychiatrist Catherine Railey, and in the new Twelve Monkeys, there is only Cassandra Railey, Amanda Shaw, who combines the features of Stowe's characters, an assistant to an alien from the future, and Brad Pitt, a virologist trying to warn people of danger. The heroine also has a telling name, a mythical prophetess, whom no one believed because of the curse of the gods. Madeline Stowe can't recall a time when her father walked like other dads. He always moved a little differently, says the star of the ABC drama Revenge, whose character was dramatically killed off in the series finale in May. The actress's film credits include Last of the Mohicans, Blink, Stakeout, and Twelve Monkeys. I remember when I was about three, hearing a discussion about him having double vision. By the time I was four it was worsening. His leg strength had also deteriorated, and there were hand controls on the car. He retired from his job as a civil engineer by the time I was six, and he was in a wheelchair full-time in short order after that. Today, Stowe's father, Robert, could be diagnosed with either primary or secondary progressive multiple sclerosis, MS, which is defined as a gradual worsening of the disease after an initial relapse, flare-up, and remitting, recovery, phase. But in the 1960s, MS was still poorly understood, with few diagnostic tests and no disease-modifying treatments. We weren't very good at diagnosing people at that time, and magnetic resonance imaging MRI scans didn't come into use until about 1982, says Barbara Geiser, MD, clinical director of the University of California, Los Angeles MS program at the David Geffen UCLA School of Medicine, a fellow of the American Academy of Neurology, FAAN, a member of the Neurology Now Editorial Advisory Board, and co-author of Navigating Life with Multiple Sclerosis, the latest title in the AAN's Neurology Now book series. She believes Robert's doctors probably wouldn't have been able to tell him much more than that he had MS and that the course of the disease was unpredictable. Nickname Madeline. Gender female. Age 66 years old, in 2024. Date of birth August 18, 1958. Real name Madeline Marie Stowe. Profession actress. Nationality American. Birthplace Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, United States. Religion not known. Zodiac sign Leo. Madeline Stowe Education. School. Glendale High School, Glendale, California. Alumni. College. University of Southern California, Los Angeles. Madeline Stowe Career. Profession. Actress. Known for. Maria Maguire.
Debut. Film. Gangster Wars. 1981. TV show. Beretta. 1978. Net worth. 15 million US dollars. Family and relatives. Father. Robert Stowe. Mother. Mireya Mora. Brother. Two younger siblings. Name not known. Sister. Two younger siblings. Name not known. Marital status. Married. Married. Brian Benben. M. 1982. No of children. One. Son. None. Daughter. May Theodora Benben. How old is Madeline Stowe's daughter? May Theodora Benben is the only daughter of Madeline Stowe and Brian Benben. She was born in 1996 in the United States of America. May Theodora is 28 years old as of 2024. The actress revealed she started to change when her daughter was born. She told the Tampa Bay Times.